So we've started on the bridge and, and finished that up uh, so we can now get across to the other side and this kind of villager has agreed to kind of guard the bridge. I don't know what he's going to do against zombies but we'll see. And so we've laid out the plans for the country house. Each dot of black wool means something and well let's get the blue ice and go and build a basalt generator. So here we are down in the machine room and this is one floor below the mob farm uh, where we and below my main floor and you can see that the mob farm's up there somewhere and it comes in and goes through all these hoppers and other droppers and dispensers and things and we capture all the main things that come out of the mob farm so that's the rotten flesh the bones the string and on this side we've got the gunpowder and the arrows and then all the leftovers that come in here and you can see we've got far too much um, leather armor and I really need to build some kind of a, you know, a waste disposal unit for that but you can see there's other things so what we do is we use the, the bows that come out and we've built a little waste bow furnace here so you can just pop them in the in the barrel and that becomes the fuel for the furnace you can see we've already filled it up quite, quite a lot and then what we do is we can go and get some items from there to smelt um, maybe we'll take some this gold armor and yeah you can see we've already been doing a bit of that and you just pop it in there and off it goes so that's to kind of try and get rid of some of the bows and, and be a little bit useful all right so on this side we actually have our, our big kind of production furnace um which just is an automated furnace so you just go and take whatever you need out of this is just a storage container take out the ores and then we pop them in the top and they'll start feeding through the hoppers and may as well put those two golden helmets in there too and then they'll just go in and start cooking so there you can see the iron ore starting to feed through and of course we put all the coal in the side and it just keeps feeding the coal into the furnace as we need it and then the finished items come here into this barrel and um, you can see we've been we've been a bit busy next up is this um sugarcane generator or sugarcane farm i suppose but it's it's a bone meal powered one so what you do is, is you just go and get some bone meal I think I've got some somewhere. There it is. Just pop it in the machine. And we just have to give it a pulse. Just an on off. And there it goes. And the bone meal grows the sugar cane. And then the piston breaks the sugar cane. The pickup mechanism is a bit messy. But it works. And generally I'll do it like a stack at a time. And then I just hang around and then kind of clean up. This is our cobblestone generator. And so it's just the, the lava and the waterlogged stairs. And the one trick I do is I've got a piece of obsidian at the back behind the lava. So I can actually just keep holding down the, the button and it'll just keep breaking the stone. And I don't have to worry about it digging out the back of the, of the lava chamber. Um, there's a hopper and a little chest system. It's, it's still a little bit messy and you sometimes pick up a bit new inventory. But for the most part, it works quite well. Um, so let's get building out that basalt generator. So we'll put it right here next to the cobble generate, cobblestone generator. Kind of makes sense. So first thing we need to do is get that obsidian piece in. The same kind of concept. Put a piece of obsidian in so that when we actually are mining out the basalt, we don't go and bore a hole through the rest of the rest of the wall. All right, there's our soil soil. Um, because it has to, the lava has to flow onto the soil soil. And there's our blue ice that we worked so hard for in the last episode. Now, I need to be a little bit careful here because I'm always nervous about lava. So we just need to build out a, build out a bit of a lava chamber. So we've got some cobblestone here which we'll use.
thinking that maybe I'm going to put another layer on top just in case there's some sparks or somehow something silly happens. So let's completely encapsulate that lava chamber. Oh, <laughs> looks like I forgot to get some lava. Okay, be back in a second. So we one floor up in the sheep farm and we'll just get ourselves a, a lava of the dripstone generator and whenever I play with lava it's always nice to be fire safe so we'll get some water just in case. Let's head back downstairs and go and finish off that vessel generator. of truth. I hope I've done this right, otherwise I'm going to have lava all over the machine room floor. There we go, and there it is, basalt, nice. So now we can just stand here and break the basalt. Oh, it looked like that one burnt up. Ah, uh, that one's the, uh. It's a bit of a pain. Maybe if I stand closer? No. Ah, that one looks like I got it. Okay, and there we go. And that basalt, I can just keep mining that basalt and in the back of the, the obsidian just protect the wall. Nice, there we go. Hmm, wonder how much I need to cut. Hmm, lost a few. Let's pick those up. I think I'm quite happy with that. And there we go. There's our vessel generator. Must say I'm quite delighted with that, so... I'll have to get on and, and start chopping away. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to need, but I imagine that I'm going to need a, a fair number of stacks to be able to start doing some of the building. So, yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Don't go yet. The little changes to show you since we shot the end. You can see I've replaced the cobblestone with basalt to make it look like a basalt generator. And on the other side, I actually went ahead and built that waste management system because I got tired of all the leather armor. So we can have a little look here. All we've got to do is go get ourselves, get ourselves something to burn up. And I've already done a lot of the cleanup, so we'll just take this one leather helmet. Hmm, it would be nice if I had something else, but I'm looking there and thinking all the other stuff I want to try and keep. So, one leather helmet it is, and we just go and pop it here in this dispenser. And all we have to do is just switch the switch on, switch the switch on, there we go. And it'll just spit stuff into the lava, and the glass just makes sure that it only goes into the lava. When we finish, we just switch it off. And that's it. 